okay as soon as you add on the click menu event of your menu strip you will see that I place here an open form subroutine before you can do that you need to type this one first you need um, to make a private subroutine first so that you can type this one uh, this private subroutine will tell VB to enable our objects inside the form so as soon as the user clicks on the add menu item as soon as the user clicks on the add menu uh, the text boxes will be enabled so that our user can type whatever he wants in the in the form next stop is go back to your design to your design view of the customer DB and double click on the form after which type this one customer ta dot fill my ds dot customer d db it, this line of code means that uh, the table adapter the customer table adapter which represents your customer table will fill your data set and which part of the data set will be the customer's customer table it will fill the part of the data set which is your customer table after that go back to your customer design view and double click on button 1 which is our save button this will uh, by clicking on the button it will generate a click event for you to type your code in so I will explain this code to you and the code to you <coughs> uh, you need to type this first the try try uh, code this line of code try as soon as you type it the the following the catch X the catch and N try will appear so let me explain to you the code customer ta that get data begin initialize this will tell uh, visual the visual basic customers table adapter that uh, the data in it inside of it will be handled um, the next step is the meaning of this code customer ta dot insert means that um, we are inserting uh, data to the database as soon as you type this one customer insert if you notice uh, visual basic will ask you the location of the the fields that the customer t the fields of the table of your database the customer table database at uh, the location of the fields of the customer table database from your form since textbox 2 holds the customer name uh, so that's why we place there textbox 2 and textbox 3 holds the customer address textbox 4 will hold the customer uh, telephone number and textbox 5 will hold the customer email and so on so, and so, so forth textbox 6 will hold the contact person's name so after writing that uh, type this one customer ta get data accept changes this will tell the table adapter uh, the customer table adapter that uh, everything uh, it should accept the changes inflicted on the database and after that you need to write this one customer ta fill my ds customer db so that the changes uh, the the data will be written to the to the database immediately if anything wrong happens the catch part of your try catch method will be initialized will be triggered and the meaning of this one message box this line of code means that uh, instead of breaking the program uh, the error will be shown in a message box 
and customer TA get data reject changes will tell the customer TA to stop uh, to to reject all changes that has errors so as soon as you're done you can try to run your program run your program oh I forgot something before running your program uh, just a minute let me cancel that again for you you need to go back to your form one design view and click on the file and double click on the custom database as you can see here I, ra I wrote me that hide this means if the customer database menu strip click event is triggered the first form will hide itself and will show the customer DB form so put that one first then you can now go ahead and test your uh, your program so let's test it customer database then click on add uh, insert a name Nancy Drew uh, one Brooklyn Road Road um, no, let's change name to Nancy's Nancy Partner one Brooklyn Road um, let's put a dummy number and if you want you can test the plus signs uh, email address will be Nancy Partner at yahoo.com and the contact person is Nancy go ahead and click save <coughs> there you go a message box appear one record was added now we need to check our database if we were ab success able to successfully save the data so go to your the uh, the folder uh, the folder of your project I I set up my visual basic to save all my projects on this folder if you can find your uh, the location of your project that's fine that would be better then go to the solution of your project and take note that Visual Basic. Uh, as soon as you connect your your project to a to a database, Visual Basic makes two copies of the database and saves them on the project folder. Uh, the folder of your project. So open your database on uh, the the copy of your database and open your customer DB as you can see we have successfully entered a project a data so that's all for today if you have anything any suggestions on how you would like me to proceed with this project uh, you can just type on the comments below and if you have any suggestions so feel free to comment any questions I'll try to answer them as soon as possible uh, anyways, that's all for today. Uh, happy coding!